Okay, salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Ahmed Al-Gedi teaching Mega Goal 5 and we are still in uh, Unit 6, the gender divide or the uh, gender differences. Now, uh, we are at uh, activity number 11. Activity number 11 is about form, meaning and function. You will find it on page 92. In this section, we are concentrating more on grammar. As you see here, form, meaning, and function. Now, the grammar section here is about tenses. What are tenses? Tenses are the structure of sentences that, uh, which depend on the time you are conveying your meaning in uh, the, the, these sentences according to the time. So we call it them tenses. Now we are going to talk about two uh, parts of grammar, which is present perfect progressive and present perfect simple okay if you can remember the structure of the present perfect uh, uh, progressive or continuous have has plus been plus uh, the verb with ing this is uh, the form of the verb and the present perfect simple structure is has or have it depends on the subject plus the past participle pp okay and, and now, uh, let's read here, use the present perfect progressive to say how long something has been happening. If you talk about this one, you talk about how, how long, okay, as you see here, how long things have been happening. Okay, you use the, the, uh, the present perfect progressive. We will take it, we will, it will be more clear or clearer uh, on examples. Next one, use the present perfect simple to say how many things have been done. So the difference now between them is how long for the, the progressive and how many is for the perfect. So uh, this, th this is the slight difference between the uh, present perfect pro progressive and the present perfect simple. Okay, and uh, let's t take the examples now. Present perfect progressive. Sandy and Adam have been discussing the differences. Here we say the present perfect progressive, as you see here. And if we want to use the same sentence or the same verb in the present perfect simple, we say they have decided that women, uh, that women talk about feelings more than men. So here have been discussing. So that means we are concentrating on time. But in here have decided. They, they, they uh, reached the uh, conclusion or they reached the uh, decision that the women talk ab uh, about feelings more than men. This is one example. The other one, how long have you been discussing stereotypes? So this is an example using the present perfect progressive. The same verb, okay, we use it with the present perfect symbol. How many times have you discussed this issue? So now he, here we are talking about how many times and here how long. As we said here, how long we express the present progressive, the present perfect pro progressive and how many we use it for present perfect simple. Another example, Saeed has been driving since early this morning. Okay, the same verb we use it not like this structure but in the, the structure of uh, perfect uh, present uh, simple perfect or present uh, perfect simple he has driven 400 miles so here we are talking about how many how many miles but here we're talking about since early morning time so here we use it for time and here we use it for uh, how many things how many miles how many minutes and how many things uh, any, any, any countable things. How long, how uncountable things also. How long have you been driving? How long have you been driving? As you see here, this is a question about time. Okay, now here, how many different models of car have you driven? So the same thing, but here we are uh, talking about many different models, and here we are talking about how long time. Okay. Use the present perfect progressive to talk about 
an annoying action or situation. Something that uh, annoying, if you talk about the present perfect uh, progressive. Like, as you see here, two women are talking. And look at the boys, they are bored. They are bored because they talk for a long time. They talked for a long time. So how can we describe uh, what is happening here? Okay, in this sentence. We say they have been talking for over an hour. The children are getting bored, as you see here. So the best way to express what is happening here, to use the present perfect progressive, they have been talking. They have been talking. We can say for over uh, an hour, or we can say also for uh, since, uh, we count one hour ago. Okay, now uh, uh, this is another example here. We, we skipped it. I haven't slept at all. So something annoying. I haven't slept at all. My phone has been ringing all night. So we used the present perfect progressive to express something annoying, muzaj. So my phone has been ringing all night. Who is being eating the cakes? This is something annoying. So he is using this uh, tense to express the, uh, that he is uh, annoyed by the one who uh, ate his cakes. So who is being, who's been, that is an abbreviation or uh, contraction to, for uh, has. Who has been eating the cakes? There is only one left. Okay. Also with time expressions with the present perfect express, uh, progressive, we use, use it usually with how long? For, since, all day, all week, all month, and all year, okay? Okay, excuse me. Okay, to talk about an uh, annoying action, as we said a while ago. Okay, sorry. Okay, now let's answer these questions. Uh, some of them are uh, formed in the pre present uh, perfect progressive, and some of them are uh, formed in the present uh, uh, perfect simple. Okay, what have you learned to do? What have you learned to do? You need to answer this question so that uh, to know that things that you have learned up to now. Have you finished learning it? Have you finished? If you have finished learning it, we can ask you this question. How long have you been learning for? So if you haven't finished, we can ask you, how long have you been learning for? Okay, you say, I have been learning English for two years or for three years or for like this. So you are still learning, so you can use uh, the present perfect progressive. Ali has been learning how to drive for five months, for five months. So uh, now, uh, we used for to specify the time, the, the period, okay? But if we use since, if we use since instead, we will not change the form of the, of the sentence, but we are going to change the time here. Instead of five months, we say like since, uh, let's count five years ago, uh, sorry, five months ago, we, we can say, uh, uh, October, since October. Ali has been learning how to drive since October because you, since is used to uh, express things that uh, happened, uh, that, st that started, the time started. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, look here. Look here. Ask and answer questions about the picture. You see here, uh, there is a picture, and there are uh, many people in this picture, and many events happening at the same time. And uh, it is, it's been raining, it's been raining for 10 minutes. Now, look at here, the picture. You can see rains falling from the sky, and it is raining. It, we can say, it's been raining for 10 minutes. We used present perfect progressive here. What have the people been doing during this time? Look at them. What? have they, what they have been doing. Sorry. Okay. 
Okay. Now look at them. Sorry for that. Uh, look at these people. They are they uh, have been doing uh, lots of things. Let's talk about each one of them. Let's start with. Uh, okay, let me, let me continue here. Use the present perfect progressive and the present perfect simple. You can use both uh, tenses. It's up to you. What has the man, let's take an example here. What has the man at the magazine stand being doing during the train? Look at the man here, the man with the magazine. You see, he's been reading. Look at him. He has been reading or he's been reading. How many magazines has he read? Here, we use the present perfect because we're talking about the number of magazines. He has read several magazines. Okay, here perfect, uh, present simple perfect, and a present, uh, a present uh, sorry, a present uh, progressive, present perfect progressive, and here present perfect, uh, present uh, perfect simple. Okay, now let's take our examples now. There is no interaction between me and you, unfortunately, but now we can take an example. Look at the lady. Where is the lady? Here in the taxi. The lady has been sitting in a taxi for a long time. She has been like, sitting. Let's talk about another one. Look at the, these two boys here. The, the, the two friends have been watching up over, uh, sorry, ha, has been, uh, two friends have been catching up over a cup of coffee. Look at them, okay? Now, how long? They have been, uh, sorry, they have drunk four cups up to now. We are talking about numbers here. So we use the present perfect simple. And here we use the present perfect progressive. Next. A man has been directing the traffic. Look at him. He's di directing the traffic. For, we say for 10 minutes, a man has been directing the traffic as it has been raining for 10 minutes. The next. A businessman has been talking on his phone. Look at him. Here, a businessman has been talking on his phone. Okay, another example. Here, about this man, what has the man been doing? A man with a bag has been waiting for a taxi for a long time. Look at him, has been waiting for a taxi for a long time. Okay. Sorry. Okay, now, uh, words connected with hobbies and interests. Words connected with hobbies and interests. Here are some words connected with popular free time activities. Write some words connected with a hobby or interest of your own. Now, the hobbies like playing sport, reading books, collecting items, surfing the internet. So each uh, uh, column, each list, has different words, like playing sports, you can use play a team sport, water sport, join a club, training, outdoors, keep fit. We, you, you usually see these things when you are going to write uh, a free writing, okay? Oh, sorry, a guided writing, because your teacher sometimes gives you uh, words like this to help you write a good paragraph. So, if you use this, this list of words, you will need to know what part of speech they are. Okay, you, you need to decide if the, the words are um, verbs, nouns, adjectives, uh, adverbs, prepositions, and so on. So the part of speech is very important to know because this will help you to know the meaning and to make a good uh, structure for the sentences. Okay, now uh, let's read the words together. Play a team sport, water sport, join a club, training, outdoors, keep fit, athletic track, rewarding, competition, awards. This list belongs to playing sport or classifies, uh, classified as playing sport. And this list, is, uh, or this list is classified into reading books, science fiction in, in books, detective stories, Adventure stories, bestseller, poetry, bookworm, entertaining, bookmark, novel, and writer. Okay, what about collecting items? Collecting items. This is another uh, hobby also, which is collecting item. And the words related to this uh, section or to this classification, stamps, uh, stuffed toys, 
comic books, stickers, bookmarks, enjoyment, happiness, fascination, satisfaction, collection. Okay. Uh, the last one is surfing the internet. Uh, surfing internet, these, are wo these words are related. Computer or laptop, educational, play games, internet cafe, enjoyment, knowledge, new information. And here in this section, you need to, to write your hobby and you list some words from your own uh, which are related to your hobby. Now, let's take examples how the, the, the one of your students uh, uh, made uh, sentences, full sentences using these words. Ahmed is a footballer. As I told you earlier, this is called the main sentence or the, the topic sentence, which indicates that uh, you are going to talk about Ahmed and how good he is at football or how much he likes football. So Ahmed is a footballer. He has played every week since he was 10 years old. And uh, be careful to write short sentences. Okay, please. N next one. He plays in his local team and they have won many competitions and awards. Okay, this is about Ahmed and we use played, competition, award, and uh, these three words, uh, plays, team. Okay, so this is a verb and used in, we used it in the past. Okay, why in the past participle? Because it, it, ha, it is uh, used after has. And here it is a verb. Here, a local team, team is a noun. Here, competitions, a noun. Awards, a noun as well. So uh, this is very important to know, uh, the part of speech, as I said earlier. Sa Sally is a bookworm. A bookworm means Sally, okay, uh, likes reading books. So she, she likes reading books a lot, a lot. She loves reading novels and poetry. One day uh, she hopes uh, uh, to be a writer, okay? Ali has always been fascinated with uh, uh, superheroes and comic books. So this is the introductory, or this is the, the topic sentence of this uh, short, very short paragraph. They bring him to, the, um, sorry, they bring him much enjoyment and happiness, and he now has a collection of more than 1,000. Uh, now, uh, let's talk about uh, the adjective present, uh, preposition and gerund, how they use it, okay, with, uh, with prepositions, huruf al-jar. At, by, in. We say good at playing, fascinated by uh, tradition, uh, traditional stories, and interested in. Other examples, like afraid of, bored with, and amazed at. Okay? Okay, uh, that's all for today, and thank you very much. Goodbye. See you again, inshallah.